Hello, it is Wednesday here today, and I was requested to do one video at least with face cam enabled by my Twitch chat. Hello, I'm here in the flesh. Um, and me, <laughs> I made an error this war actually somehow. I don't know how I did this, but I don't have a third unit on my defense. Uh, let's pretend I didn't do that and I attack a tower over here. So, what we have here in the round one is slowly DDR. I'm always scared of like ER Shu when I do this, but I think like ER Shu doesn't kill you fast enough. Like, Solitaria should do enough damage to her, maybe? Like, I don't know if DDR is the best answer actually, because I'm pretty sure these two kind of destroy this defense on their own, right? So then if you just bring a different third unit that kind of kills them, it might be better, like Spectre or something. But we'll do DDR it's fun until I don't land debuffs and then it's not fun anymore uh, but we've got Solitaria fastest here self imprint because of my ER shoe paranoia uh, and she'll probably just tickle the Selene down with the fairy tail damage and then Arrowall on adamant because uh, DDR is taking the Selene S1s so you know we kind of want him to get a little mitigation and DDR on ice crystal so we have a little bit of healing on the team all pretty straightforward Mine debuffs. Yep. And then round two. Uh, DCS area. Have you ever heard of it? It's kind of good. Uh, so, Destina, Ice Crystal, Open HP imprint for Dark Harvest. This area. Okay, my Seria is really fast right now because I was drafting her with Laia in RTA uh, as a part of my Fumir draft, yes. So, like, like you, just, you need to be faster than the Laia. Uh, but this isn't in speed RNG range. Still, kind of, but I guess it's good enough. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it works well for this. So I got a bit of effect in this. So hopefully I can strip the escort off the air wall if it is a tank landy. But there's no way I don't strip the escort and it's a tank landy. That that that, that would be unreasonable here. Uh, and then yeah, just third corvus. I swapped a couple pieces of gear just to make him even higher HP. Like he's close to 38k here, and plus prayer, then plus Destina imprint. He's a beefy boy. Mine kills. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's no point in putting like a damage reduction artifact for the Lady though on him because she frostbites you. Although I guess Destina would probably cleanse it because Lady presses as three turn one. <gasps> oh well. Anyways, uh, Lady only does like 20 something K damage tops and she has to wait three turns to do it. So Destina, Ice Crystal should heal that much in that time, probably. And Destina, I mean, Seria will reset me as well. So I can probably, you know, kill this, then kill the arrow, then kill the Lady. Anyways, let's go in here. And I'm sorry if I don't stay in frame, but I'm incapable of sitting still. Uh, it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I, I, I'm sitting a bit up a bit straighter than normal. Okay, wait, this shoe's kind of slow, which is a bit concerning. Also, I wasn't looking at their artifacts. Uh, if I see resist resist on the shoe though, uh, that's kind of a problem. No, if it's this slow of a shoe though, like, am I really worried? Okay, she got debuffed. That's very good. <clears throat> Anyways, the Solitaria is silenced here. So, we're just gonna go for the stun on the Zeo because he's the most highest DPS threat. I suppose you could say. Oh. Wait, it was Sleep Miracle. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's basically ER Shu, except now she doesn't do it again. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, oh, okay, so the Zia doesn't even get two turns as it would turn out. Um, and then the Selene, oh, Dust Devil, so she healed the full. I was gonna say the Selene probably dies here, but I guess if I get Dust Devil, that's not the case. Please don't crit. So I'm pretty sure I do need to hit her, actually. Oh wait, no, I can just stun her. Okay, I can stun her 85% of the time, which is pretty good odds. And I didn't crit her, which is also pretty good. Okay, well, I guess... Yeah, if she gets stunned, it's pretty jover for her. Um... Uh, okay, I don't think I actually needed to hit her, because this does a lot of damage on its own, doesn't it? Anyways, pop. 
What did I have round two? All oh, right, DC Assyria. I outsped their Lili. Wait, they're kind of fast. Is this full strip? It is. Isn't this ability kind of good? Full strip, death break. Uh, I think I want to strip this. Although, wait, isn't it kind of greedy to go for the strip on this? Like, stripping the landy barrier would be quite a bit easier. Oh. And it's a 24k. Okay, I think I'm kind of chilling here. Push this up so she doesn't get escort back. Mind kills. Although, the barrier is so big, she's probably low health anyways. That's like a 16k landy. And I did 42,000 damage. <laughs> okay. Kinda good. I'm pretty sure I can kill Nidhi through escort. Although, I don't get the. Wait, wait. I don't get the. All of mental advantage. It's like a bit less. Uh, but we're gonna hit the Lidi so we can cycle the uh, air wall. Like, she's gonna do like. What is it, like 20k? Oh, actually, no. 16k only. Does mine kill? Uh, wait, maybe I should have gone for the air wall. I don't know if I kill. Oh, mine kills. Okay, well. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have S2 again this turn? My Assyria is kind of fast. Oh, next turn. Okay, see you next turn. You know, I guess it's kind of weird for me to do my, like, skips when I'm just sitting here in silence. <laughs> so maybe I'll commentate through the Dark Corvus S3 even though I'm not actually saying anything of substance whatsoever. Anyways. Onto another thing here. Well, I'll set up here for another one. Uh, I still don't. I'm not used to it. I don't like it. Feels strange. My face on here. Anyways, <clears throat> what we have is a classic defense and a classic offense. Trust it. Rowana, Fighter Maya, into like the Ran Aiden defense. Uh, the Charon goes into the Rowana here. So and he's like the flex here, I guess. Uh, but she's behind the Trozet, so can't really die to it most likely. And my Trozet's... Okay, so if it's like a hyperspeed build, I might get hit on Death Break, right? Uh, but if it is that fast, he's just doing less damage, so it's probably fine. Uh, but he's on the heal EE actually, because you don't really need the CR push uh, when you have Rowana on your team. And also, if he dies... <clears throat> Excuse me. If he dies uh, to the Aiden, you know, it's a lot better to have the healing because then the uh, push. Because pushing Rowana doesn't really achieve much, does it? Uh, Rowana's on Celestine, though. Uh, I could do Proof of Valor if I want to be really safe, but I think the Celestine healing is probably more valuable most of the time. And then it's just a normal Rocket Punch, Fighter Maya. Uh, I thought about using Kruna, but then I remembered Trozik can only cleanse one thing. And if I have to cleanse two things, it doesn't really work as well, does it? So Fighter Maya it is because she does not need to be cleansed. And then round two here. I feel like you can do Destina Avira plus anything. But like, you know, I'm just doing Lidi. Uh Lidi's on just your normal build Parasolus, dude. Yep, you know how it is. And Destina's on wait, wait, wait. Shimadra here, because I wanna, you know, AoE ER for herself and the uh Elvira. And then Elvira's on the Bastion, but I swapped her to be a higher ER, you know, just move some pieces on her. Um, it should be okay. Like, like, okay, if I get debuff for a turn, it's kind of unfortunate, but I don't think it'll matter too, too much. And then, yeah, Elvira is holding the Bastion. Pretty high ER. Like, like, I could go higher, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I really don't want to move too much here because I'm lazy. Mm hmm. Anyways, let's just go in. I had LRK in the round 2 initially, but I was like, doesn't Alvira just make more sense? Okay, well this is ideal tuning. Like, the counter k is like the easiest version, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah. I will just press my S3 onto the Rowana. 
and then win. Okay, only a 9k Aiden, so she should die pretty easily. That did a lot of damage though, but... Uh... I mean, I'm gonna hit her with... Wait, no, I don't, don't wanna give her 20 CR for free. So let's hit here. And, oh wait, I didn't press CR, did I? Maybe I did. Nice duel. I gave her the 20 CR anyways, I guess. Uh, but yes. What, stun? No? Wait, it's kind of a bad duel. <laughs> uh, I can press S3 this turn though, so it's okay. On the Rowana. Oh, it's a portrait, Kron. Wait. He's 11k health though. I don't think that's normal, Lee. Do I even press S3 here? I guess why not. Um, <laughs> they kind of did. I guess Charles is close to dying. And then S3 should finish off the Aiden. Did it kill? Oh, nice. I get the extra turn. Oh, and then I counter. And then Charon can't kill me because I have Rowana. Even if he counters. Show me the full heal. Thanks. Wait, that wasn't quite a full heal. Yeah, I guess, to be fair, Chosa did take like over 100% of, wait, wait, like 140% of the damage, I guess? Because like he's taking the, uh, the one of damage as well. But this is where the heal's really good because like he cycled around into his S3 again. So he heals and puts defense buff up again, right? Which is quite good. Right, anyway, Celestine is definitely the way. Wait, is it even a... Uh, wait, I was about to say, is it even a counter count when I saw him counter me multiple times? <laughs> Let's see, maybe it's Destro and countering me. That'd be crazy. Okay. Old classic triumphs again. It's a Taga House AOL. Well, Alright, I think I'm chilling. Okay, well, we resisted. I want to push up. Wait, no, do I want to push up Alvira? Not really. Uh, oh, wait, I want to S2 myself, actually. Uh, oh wait, I don't think that push is enough though, because Lili goes 30% faster. That's actually really annoying. Okay, well she didn't counter, so it should be okay. Uh, but there- oh wait, never mind. I was trying to play around fucking- okay, I'm dumb. I was trying to play around the AP encountering me a bunch, and then having, uh, fucking her S3 up, right? Because I can't, uh... Because I can't uh, press S3, S1, right? So, like, if she outbrisses me on my other hits, you know, it's kind of sketchy. But uh, she kind of just took all of her health from the singular Alvira S3. So that's kind of good. Oh, wait. I'm Giga Genius. Never mind. I got unbuffable, so I don't have speed buff anyways. So I'm going to make this play anyways. Oh, my God. And then the AOL hits me anyways. I know we're chilling. Uh, it was only 14k health here though, so like, you know. Oh, uh, maybe not the biggest of threats. But, I think Alvira plays around like, the tank Aeofine well enough. Well. Uh, Nidhi just has to tentacle some bitches. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's do that. Well, that was easy enough. Um, uh, let's hit Stronghold now, I guess? Wait, I don't want to write reports. Uh, shit. Why did I scout stuff? This is a problem. Okay, finally got something. Wait, shit, my camera is covering the Stronghold health. I guess it doesn't really matter, because we're going in right here. Uh, wait, second to last attack. Now what we are doing is, in the round one, 
This is the highest attack thing, right? So Shirun gives it a barrier, and then Aruka kills it. And then, this is the highest attack thing. So Shirun gives it a barrier, and then Aruka kills it. Uh, pretty easy. But uh, hand guys here, so that you don't get reset and unbuffable by the Shirun. It's speed tuned to be slower than the Shirun, so you don't get stripped by her. And then Doris is on just lovers, so she takes a little bit less injury from the shoe. Normally you don't really want Doris to take shoe because shoe just kills Doris pretty easily. But in this case, you know, uh, you're only taking her for like one, two S3s tops, so you should be okay. And you get like hand guy barrier, Doris death buff, lovers barrier, since I have it on her right now. So it's probably fine here. And then Uruka is just on a attack boot build on spear because it's the best damage artifact for her. And 30% CR EE just so I'm more likely to like lop around and they are alive for less time, but I don't think it matters too too much here. Uh-huh. Uh, but that is how that one plays out. And then round two here. Lock a punch pilus. Double mitigation. Soul Weaver on Rod. It's kind of chillax. I probably just press auto for this one. Uh Momo gives immunity, so in case it is effectiveness beat on, I'm chilling. But I mean, I'm like pretty high ER here. So I'm probably not getting debuffed by a BDOM if we're being realistic here. Uh, but yeah, it's just two light thieves that are kind of just die to fix damage. <laughs> uh, yes. Anyways, going in here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, I guess Lovers isn't too high value, but Water's Origin and like Guide to Decision aren't that great either because uh, you uh, get pushed up ahead of the... Well, I guess you get have CR from AU Fiend, so not necessarily, but you know. Potentially, potentially, right? Uh, you would push up ahead. Alright, mine kills. Mind kills by a lot. And then the holy sack doesn't proc. Um, I guess I just put up the barrier here. And chunk her. I guess I could have pushed. No, I don't think I would have cut if I pushed up. Oh, yeah, I got full CR now though. But it also didn't break my barrier. I guess it's kind of chillin'. And then, wow. Would you look at that? 40,000 damage! Wait. <laughs> I haven't used the Rinka in so long, actually. It's kind of sad. Um, I'll heal here. Because Arunka got me. Wait, it does more. Probably still bring S1. And then mine kills. Those are kill. She's kind of tanky. All right, seven point seven, pretty good. All right, so Celine goes. It's up to mortality. Beat on. Wait, give, beat on gives her attack buff for two turns. No way. But my arrow will stuns here regardless. 11k Aiden. That did a lot of damage actually. Um, but I will just heal to full. Do I go for Aiden first? I mean, okay, I do go for Aiden first. But only because she's like, you know. Oh, invincible. Everybody else is invincible. Oh, I'm gonna go for the stun here. I don't want her hitting me with attack buff. Well, I'm pretty sure I go Celine first, right? Well, always S2 if it's off cooldown though. Just mitigates a bit of RNG. Wait, nice duel, my guy. Okay. Oh, don't crit. Good job. But I got death buff now, so I can't really die, can I? Oh, let's have that finish her off here. 
And suddenly, their team has no threat. Oh, oh wait. Oh, never punished. <laughs> wait, never punished at all. <laughs> okay. Is mine one tap? Oh, I crit her. I'm pretty sure she gets... Okay, that's like basically one tap. Okay, I think the Briar version of this defense is scarier. The B-Dom. Oh, I hit her again. Cause like, at least Briar, you have death break threat. But I guess it's still scarier than my defense, cause I only have two units on my defense. What the fuck? How did it happen? How did it happen? How did? <laughs> I really don't know. I actually remember putting my defense. I remember setting it before I went to bed. <laughs> like. Hell? Do I have Alzheimer's or something? Like what? Wait, wait, well, well, how would that have my defense on gear though? I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. It's tragic. Anyways, Vidom's yelling a lot, but she's gonna take a while to kill, isn't she? Well, so I'll be back when she's gone. Hmm. Well, that was pretty easy. Rocket Punch Pilus, kind of good as it would turn out. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you think. It felt kind of weird having the cam on my face, not gonna lie. Because, uh, you know, normally, you see... Uh, <laughs> you know, normally, you see, I don't wear any clothes at all when I do my guild work, right? Because as they say, less clothes less in you know so you know having to wear anything at all i think substantially increase my odds of inting like we have a lot of members in talentless that do all of their attacks from the shower just because of that philosophy so uh yeah uh anyways <laughs> anyways uh thanks for watching uh subscribe if you enjoy and i'll be back soon you know uh with more for sure Real, real, on God, no cap, on a stack.